Electricity is often associated with modernity and everything artificial, wrongly, because it is present in all biological entities. Better yet, it is the study of certain species that has allowed us to generate this energy as we know it today. Sit back and relax. Today, we're going to introduce you to the three most electric creatures in the world. While browsing YouTube as usual, you've probably already come across this million view video of the cutest and most ticklish of stingrays. This clip surely made you die laughing, but before you had time to get interested in this amazing species of batoids, more commonly known as stingrays, the mysterious YouTube algorithm probably offered you a video of funny cats, babies, Russian weirdos, or the famous pickle eater in ASMR. Only now that I'm telling you about it, you're thinking that you really want to know more about stingrays, especially the badass ones among them. While we're at it, let's not waste time and let's not disperse ourselves. Although they are still very much unknown, stingrays are undoubtedly among the most amazing marine creatures in the world. As you must know, these cartilaginous fish with flattened bodies, cousins of sharks, have an incalculable number of subspecies, from the smallest, such as the Motoro ray, whose size is only a few centimeters, to the most gigantic, such as the tropical manta ray, which can easily reach four to five meters in length, or seven meters in width, and a weight of two tons. What you should not know is that each of these many species of rays has a different survival technique or even predation technique. For example, some species have stingers whose stings are more or less dangerous. The smallest ones will cause excruciating pain while others, like the stingray, whose sting diffuses an extremely venomous poison, can be very dangerous, even deadly for humans. But the coolest and at the same time one of the most dangerous of the rays is undoubtedly the torpedo ray, also called electric ray. Because although all living creatures produce electricity, including us humans, electric stingrays have two special kidney-shaped organs whose sole purpose is to generate and store energy. These unusual organs act as energy generators and batteries. And when I say energy or electricity, I'm not talking about low voltages, but rather discharges of about 220 volts, capable of stunning prey before devouring them or deterring the biggest and fiercest of predators. And if you're still not amazed enough by the predatory and survival capabilities of torpedoes, consider that their electrical organs also allow them to detect potential prey as well as communicate with each other. You see, even if they have a smile to drop, stingrays are really badass creatures. Now, I'm sure you're regretting succumbing to the YouTube algorithm instead of taking a close look at stingrays. Fortunately, with your beloved World Reveal channel around, it's never too late. The proof? From now on, stingrays hold no secrets for you. If I say ancient medicine, you will certainly think of all the barbaric and unscientific practices carried out by our ancestors to overcome, as best they could, diseases of all kinds. However, these are only received ideas. Certainly, thousands of years ago, our knowledge of the human body was very limited. But that does not mean that certain civilizations did not have very advanced medicines, even if only for their time. Now, you probably want to know more about these people at the cutting edge of medicine. Well, your wish is my command. Let's go to ancient Egypt 5,000 years ago. We are in Egypt during the reign of the pre-dynastic ruler Narmer around 3100 BC. Contrary to what you may think, in those distant times, there were already hospitals or at least something similar to them. There were also well-trained medical practitioners who were aware of the importance of a balanced and moderate diet. They were also very knowledgeable about the medicinal properties of the plant life around them. Better yet, even the human anatomy was not totally unknown to them. For example, they knew that the pulse had a connection with the heart, and they even knew something about dentistry and prosthetics, as they made artificial toes or eyeballs. But the most surprising thing is that even though they were millennia away from Pierre Barlow and his invention of the electric motor, or Thomas Edison and his light bulb, they had already discovered the electric catfish, a carnivorous fish found only in tropical Africa and in the Nile, it has the ability to produce an electric shock of up to 350 volts by using the electroplating of its highly developed electrogenic organ that lines its entire body cavity. It is precisely thanks to the electric shocks that this catfish produces that it manages to neutralize its prey before feasting on them. And as the Egyptians were ahead of their time, they used this species, which was found in abundance in the Nile, to treat arthritic pains using the electric shock that they emit. However, for therapeutic procedures, they only use small fish, which only produce low-intensity shocks. And if you don't believe me, the Egyptians, who worshipped this miraculous fish, represented it in their wall paintings, papyrus, and slate palettes, which later allowed the ancient Greeks to use it as a basic anesthetic in their medicine and to name it numb fish. 
Now that you know all about this ancient Egyptian medicine, which was so far ahead of its time, you are biting your fingers for having mistakenly thought all these years that our ancestors were just barbaric creatures devoid of any common sense. However, this is just a taste and a small part of the fascinating history of ancient medicine. It is now up to you to take a closer look at what medicine and medication were like thousands of years ago in other civilizations just as innovative and brilliant as the Egyptians. Now let's get down to business with the most electric creature on the planet. This creature is the electric eel. Despite its name and the resemblance to eels, this 2.5 meter long aquatic giant native to the Amazon River is not one. It is in fact a gymnotiform, in other words, an American knife fish. As such, the electric eel is more a cousin of the catfish than an ordinary eel. And although this unusual fish is fascinating, its rarity has discouraged researchers from studying it until very recently. For example, for more than two centuries, the scientific community has always thought that there was only one species of electric eel, the one described in 1766 by the Swedish naturalist Carl von Linné, the Electrophorus electricus. It was this same Electrophorus electricus that inspired the Italian physicist Alessandro Volta to invent the first electric battery in 1800, and that largely allowed the British physicist and chemist Michael Faraday to advance his studies on this fascinating energy that is electricity around 1830. So it wasn't until September 2019, thanks to a paper published by Dr. and Electric Fish Species Researcher associated with the U.S. National Museum of Natural History, Carlos David de Santana, that major advances in our knowledge of Amazon electric fish were made. It was this eminent researcher in love with the animal diversity of the Amazon who discovered that there was not only one species of electric eel, but three. Each of them is distinguished by a different genetic imprint, anatomy, physiology, and environmental data. But not only that, but these three species also have different electrical capacities. For example, the good old Electrophorus electricus is the eel that discharges the lowest voltage, while the new species, Electrophorus vary, is capable of generating a current of 572 volts, and it is the other new species, Electrophorus volte, that is at the top of the podium of all the electric animals on our planet, with a discharge that can reach no less than 860 volts. Yes, you heard me right, 860 volts. It's mind-blowing, I grant you, but what's even more fascinating is how these amazing creatures generate and store electricity. Just think, an electric eel has three pairs of electrical organs that extend over 80% of its body. Each of these organs allows it to generate discharges of different intensities and voltages depending on its needs. For example, when an eel needs to communicate with its fellow eels or to detect potential prey and predators, it only needs very low voltages, but when it attacks, it needs to generate high voltage discharges. As for the way these organs work, well, it is comparable in every way to a rechargeable battery filled with batteries. In fact, the eel's brain sends a signal via its nervous system to the electrical organs, which are composed of a stack of thousands of electrolytes, disc-shaped muscle cells. Normally, the electrolytes, these tiny biological electrical batteries, pump sodium and potassium ions to maintain a negative charge inside the cell and a positive charge outside. But when the signal is given by the brain, the ion channels open, allowing sodium to flow out, leading to the reversal of polarity. In other words, the creation of an alternating electric current. And like a battery and unlike a household outlet, the current an eel produces in small pulses until its charge runs out is high voltage, but low amperage, allowing it to stun or numb its prey, not char it. That said, its taser-like shock is no less dangerous to a human because it can cause a healthy person to fall or drown or a weak-hearted person to have a heart attack. That's all well and good, but now what you want to do is see this electrical monster in action. Well, enough talk then, and let's get to the action. What you are about to see is not electric eels attacking small and harmless prey, but rather unique images of these fish defying the biggest and most ruthless of predators. Let's start with the most dangerous of predators, the one that reigns supreme on the planet Earth, the human being. Here is a man who thought he was imposing his supremacy on an Amazonian eel by putting his hand on it. But he didn't know that he was rubbing up against the most electric of creatures, which in a fraction of a second electrocutes him so hard that his shock propels him more than a meter away and puts him back in his place. But it's not only humans who have been put back in their place by electric eels. As you can see, our best friends, the dogs, also got a taste. Now it's the turn of the Clash of the Titans. This bulldog shark mistakenly thought it was undoubtedly the supreme predator of the Amazon River, but thanks to the shock inflicted on it by this electric eel, 
it realizes that there is always something stronger than itself. However, the shark's crushing defeat of the electric eel will never equal that of this alligator, which also attacked the wrong prey, because the shocks he receives immobilize him and make him tremble until he turns over without being able to make any movement. When it wakes up, it will surely be the laughing stock of all the reptiles. So you who wanted some action, I'd say you're more than served. And you're so amazed that now you're even afraid that the electric eel shocks will pass through your screen and electrocute you. Don't panic. As long as you stay warm at home behind your computer or smartphone and don't venture into the Amazonian territory of electric eels, you're safe, I promise you that. These were the three most electric creatures in the world. Tell us in the comments which one amazed you the most. And if you like this video, don't forget to put a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss anything of our next contents.